It was reported yesterday that President Trump um, believes that if he wins the East Coast battleground states, Florida, North Carolina, and Georgia, he plans to go out and declare victory. And we want to be clear with you, if he tries to do that, that will not be true. We want to be clear with all of you. We want to make sure uh, that we're having this dialogue and share with you what we're seeing. And that we also want to be fundamentally clear what we uh, believe to be true. Under no scenario will Donald Trump uh, be declared a, victory, a victor on election night. And we think that that's really fundamental to how we want to approach tomorrow. We're going to be doing coverage on Peacock, and we can assure you if Donald Trump goes out and declares victory, we will be there to say, don't take the feed. This could play out for a long time. So the first thing, again, the argument that the election ends on election day is a specious argument. Right. It's not a, not a strong legal argument. Um, it, it, again, has no basis in fact. We're going to know the winner of this election by 10 o'clock tomorrow night. By what and time? What people are doing is just unnecessarily scaring people and making them unnecessarily nervous. Those polls become predictive of the outcome. And these are smart professional pollsters in my profession who are doing this. They could very much be a counterweight. If we have those polls with Biden up double digits, but Trump somehow wins, quote unquote, by one or two points, then something will be rotten in the state of Denmark. And we need to be very vigilant about that. Polls can help democracy in that regard. As Joe Biden himself has said, if we have concrete evidence that Russia or any other player has interfered in our election again this time, there will be, again, significant consequences. That is very important. We are trying to make sure that everyone in the press understands the volume of votes that are coming in is like nothing we've ever seen before. And it is going to take time to count. And it's more important that we get a count that is accurate than a count that is fast and might not be accurate. And that's why uh, we will continue to keep you posted. Uh, we will be very transparent and give you regular updates. But we want to get this count right. We will know a lot about Florida on election night. I know all the concerns about Pennsylvania and Michigan and Wisconsin because of the way they count the mail-in votes and may take a couple of days afterward. But Florida, we should know. Do you think you know Arizona better than anybody? Do you think Vice President Biden could actually carry your state? I do. I really do. Our state has changed. We have had, we have, there's a lot of new people have moved in. A lot of young people are, are very active now. Uh, I think we're going to see a change, uh, a change in, in not only uh, our, our party politics within Arizona, but, but I think the state's going to be blue. I'm looking for a sunbelt sweep. I think mm -hmm. we're going to secure all of those states. And that then puts enormous pressure on Joe Biden because he has to run the table in the upper Midwest, something we don't believe he's capable of doing, uh, particularly if you look at Ohio and Pennsylvania, two critical states. Both of those places are major fracking players. Uh, they will not choose Joe Biden, who threatens the energy independence of America.